Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking us out on the bullet points. Um, it's another kind of cold, miserable day here in Texas, but uh, that's all right. We're not gonna let it dampen our range time because we've got some really, really cool stuff to go over today. <laughs> I met Garrett at Strike Industries probably four years ago at SHOT Show. Really, really cool guy. And at the time, they were just kind of getting started. Um, Strike Industries came out with some pretty innovative things back then. Uh, we did a couple of reviews for some of their Glock parts and such. And uh, I've just been really impressed with what they've come out with. Um, now, fast forward four or five years after Garrett and I met, um, they have come out with a host of really, really cool stuff. Um, two of the more exciting things that I've seen lately are their uh, G4 slide comp for the Glock 19 Gen 4. This is an awesome little piece of equipment. Uh, it's basically a compensator that mates to your slide instead of your barrel. A um, Couple cool things there. You don't have to buy a threaded barrel for your Glock. So you guys in California or other states that can't uh, have threaded barrels for pistols, this is a great, great way around that. Um, so. Big ports up top there allow for gases to expand outward and upward. Um, adds a little bit of weight to the slide of your gun, uh, so that's going to help prevent muzzle climb. Um, so I'm really excited to get some rounds down range with this thing and see how it does. Uh, and we've got a couple of other Glocks to compare it to. Um, I've got Glocks compensated version, the 19C, to run uh, in direct competition with this, as well as something that's more this size. Uh, I didn't have a 34, so I grabbed a 17. Um, comes to about there so it's going to mimic almost the weight of the compensator uh, not quite but we'll see what kind of muzzle climb we get with both of them um, either way very very easy to install first of all make sure your gun's unloaded then you're going to pull your slide off flip it over take out your gen 4 spring which is that dual rate one slide this guy in and then you've got six screws to install the comp. Take your Gen 3 guide rod, plug it back in there, throw it back on, put it back on your receiver, and you're ready to go. So it is a little weighty. It adds, um, I don't know, I'd say about an inch and a half to the front of the gun. Um, it's not uncomfortably long. Uh, but it's got some nice big ports there. So I'm excited to see how that pushes the gases outward and upward. Hopefully keeps us on target a little bit better. Strike Industries has also come out with a bunch of innovative AR stuff. And the one that caught my eye was their Viper PDW. This is a pretty cool little stock replacement. Uh, it comes with a buffer. Uh, it comes with a flat buffer spring, which Strike is also known for making. Uh, that's a pretty cool setup there. Castle nut um, and then rubber cheek piece. But the cool thing is, it's rapid deployment. Press one button and it pops out. So if you are, let's say, moving in and out of a vehicle, let's say that you're um, hunting on a ranch for hogs or something like that, and you need to get in and out of a side-by-side, -side, a four-by-four or something like that. Well, this is really easy to ride with like this. Exit the vehicle, one button pops up and you're on target. Rapid deployment, easy to collapse, very easy to install. Comes with its own buffer and buffer spring, um, and a cool little piece with uh, with the buffer tube itself. It's got kind of like this little fork piece that holds your um, retaining pin in place. So um, anyway, I'm really impressed with how this lines up, how easy it is to install, um, and how comfortable it is. The length of pull is just about perfect on it. You're not too far forward, not too far back, uh, and it is one setting. So. Um, Pops open, rapid deployment, ready to go when you are. So anyway, I'm gonna fire a couple of rounds down range with both of these guys, um, tell you what we think of them, but Strike Industries has done a really good job innovating. So I'm excited to see these in action as well as what else they got coming down the pike. Let's get some range time.
This thing is very easy to shoot. Um, I really like the low profile cheek rest on it. This whole back piece comes off. It's like a rubbery texture. It's very comfortable, even with over the ears um, protection. It fits underneath them really nicely. A lot of aftermarket stocks will ride up and you know create that gap right there and you end up going deaf in your right ear. But this thing fits very nice and it's very comfortable. The length of pull is about perfect on it. All right, guys, we've got the uh, Strike Industries um, G4 slide comp on this Gen 4 19. Um, and I'm just amazingly impressed. I've only put a couple of mags down range with it, but the muzzle climb on it is freaking nothing. It's crazy. We're going to do a couple in slow motion just so you guys can see, but I'm just going to run five rounds real quick through this. And then I'm going to grab a 17 that's on the table. And the reason I went with the 17 was because it's close to the weight um, of this uh, slide comp adds um, same with kind of length um, and then see what kind of muzzle flip we get on that so i'm gonna run five with this grab that 17 and then run five with that golly man it's got like no muzzle climb all right here we go with a 17. let's see what kind of muzzle climb we get out of this guy That freaking G4 slide comp's amazing. Okay, now I got one more. Now we're gonna run Glock's factory 19C. All right, this is the ported version or the compensated version of the Glock that they came out with a while back. I think these are pretty hard to come by now. I don't think they make a whole lot of them, but let's see what this thing does as kind of the stock counterpart to that uh, G4 slide comp. I missed one, I pulled it low and right. That one felt more manageable than the stock 17, but that, that 19 with the uh, slide comp is pretty freaking ridiculous. I'm stupid impressed with that. Let's get a couple of uh, slow-mos with it so that we can slow down and really see what that muzzle rise looks like compared to the others. One miss. Guys, I'm amazingly impressed with this G4 slide comp. Um, Strike Industries did a phenomenal job. I, I don't know if it's 100% the um, the gas is blowing out of the ports. I don't know if it's added weight, a combination of the two, or what combination of the two it is. But this thing shoots so freaking flat. Your follow-up shots are like right on target. I mean, it's it's really incredible. <laughs> That's so fast for me anyway. I'm sure most of you guys are better shot than I am, but um, Strike Industries did a phenomenal job with this. Garrett, if you're watching, man, like hats off. This thing is, is insane. Um, if you guys get one of these, which I highly recommend, I think they're only like 80 bucks. Um, throw a little bit of Loctite on the screws. Uh, after a couple magazines, they kind of started to work their way loose a little bit. Not problematic or anything, but um, I noticed it, so I just retightened them. And I'm going to go back and uh, put some Loctite on here. But um, this thing shoots so incredibly well. 
bad ammo, bad ammo. Ah, oh, this ammo sucks. This thing shoots so good, man. I'm really, really, really impressed. Um, seriously, you guys, for 80 bucks, I don't think there's a better mod you can do to your Glock. Um, go out and get one of these, order one. We'll put the uh, link to them in the description below or strikeindustries.com. Um, just badass, dude. I'm very, very impressed. Good job, guys. Well, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in to our review of a couple of Strike Industries' newest products. Um, God, I, I said it over on the range, and I cannot say it enough. I'm st unbelievably, stupidly impressed with this G4 slide comp. Um, I mean, the, the amount of muzzle climb that it prevents is, is really, really impressive. And the fact that it just bolts onto your gun without having to do a threaded barrel or anything like that is, is really impressive. So... Um, great, great piece of equipment there. The uh, Viper PDW is a very, very comfortable stock. Um, I put a lot of rounds down range today, um, and the fact that it collapses up this small, especially if you're like, if you were to put this on like a uh, Daniel Defense ISR or an SBR that you, um, you know, run a suppressor on or something like that, and you shrink down the entire configuration of your gun to about here, you have a very, very manageable weapon system that you can get in and out of vehicles, you can move around freely with it, um, and then for deployment, you press one button and it locks in place. Um, this thing is very rugged. Uh, I saw Strike Industries actually do like a beat up test on it where they slammed it up against a whole bunch of crap. I'm not gonna do it because I'm keeping this thing and I really like it, um, and I don't want it all scratched up, but it will take a beating. Um, go on their video, check it out. I'm not beating the crap out of mine, but anyway, this thing is pretty sweet, very comfortable, great length of pull. I mean, you're you're dead on right there. That's this is about the second or third, depending on whether you have a two or six stage or four or six stage um, collapsible stock. So I'd say this is about two or three uh, on one of those. Very comfortable, very manageable. Just a great piece of equipment. Collapses down, very small, and if you need it even smaller. You can pull this little uh, end cap off here. This little cheek rest comes right off. And then see if I can do it with my big boy hands. And then it shrinks down even smaller. Um, I like having it on. It's kind of a comfortable little rubber piece there. Um, fits nicely on there and looks good. All in all, Strike Industries makes some awesome stuff they make all sorts of uh, ar glock um, 1911 ak parts uh, so go on strike industries and check them out these are the two that i've had my eye on since shot um, garrett thank you very much for sending them out man i really really enjoyed these keep innovating strike industries you guys are doing a great job love to see you come out with more stuff keep us posted on what you guys do come out with and for you viewers make sure you go over to strikeindustries.com and check them out because they make cool stuff all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you check out gearyouneed.com for any of your shopping needs. We'll see you next time on The Bullet Points.